Paranormies and welcome back. If you are new to our channel, this is the light side of the paranormal. Normally I have Alice with me, but as you know, we are in the midst of a global pandemic, which is absolutely insane. So Alice and I are social distancing and we have not seen each other in almost a month. We will continue to stay home like we're being asked. We will still be bringing you guys content, but it'll be my videos and her videos trying to kind of alternate and when we finally do get back together we will have some really awesome videos for you guys but today I have my husband with me this is Gavin hey guys today we are going actually tonight it is it's a little bit later we are going to be reacting to another Nick's top five video but this is gonna be interesting because Gavin is a bit of a skeptic so we are going to be reacting. It's going to be, you all know what my reactions are like <laughs> if you've been here more than once. You don't usually watch these videos with me. Uh, yeah. Because they're just, they're not his my, thing. My reaction's probably not going to be very good. Yeah. <laughs> You're staring at the screen. Um, but he doesn't usually watch these videos with me because this is just not his jam. So it will be interesting because I am interested to, to hear your take on these. What do you think these videos are mainly like ghost evidence right and we usually watch this channel because i know you don't watch a lot of our videos but we usually watch this channel because this channel seems to give us the most convincing evidence okay yeah are you open-minded to yeah, this yeah. yeah okay so let's get started so we are going to be watching five scary ghost videos that you can't unsee uh, i'm not scared i am jumpy though so be prepared Let's go. Now five ghosts caught on camera. Mirror, mirror. This next video comes from Chinese ghost hunter Xiao Long, who I featured before. Xiao Long and his fellow explorer drive three hours to an abandoned and allegedly haunted house in the middle of nowhere. The house is said to be the home of an evil spirit. Xiao Long and his friend are live streaming what? their entire investigation. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Now, I, I just should mention it. again that in Chinese culture, it is believed that swearing and acting angry is believed to ward off evil spirits that wish to do you harm. What? However, at first, Xiao Long's anger seems to spill over a bit onto his fellow explorer. <laughs> It must have been touching or something, right? I don't know. Could you imagine if Alice and I investigated and we just got like got into a fight? <laughs> <laughs> Just ripping him up. <laughs> After an hour of exploring, the two ghost hunters really haven't encountered anything. So they decide to try a ghost summoning game that is similar to a Ouija board called Pin Chi. Pinchi Contact evil 
举在桌上画圈 They don't really have much luck with the game. I mean, but this has been a very a, bizarre thing. A large buildup. <laughs> What's in that? What's that? We were leaving and it's all trashy already, man. This has been a large buildup and like nothing has happened. I just can't get over the fact that the guy farted. farted. <laughs> they try to return to their spoon ritual, but again, they are interrupted. Does this just seem like total bullshit to you? Yeah. <laughs> They're just pissed because they drove three hours for this and nothing's happening. <laughs> oh! Wait, what just happened? I thought I saw something. Is that a window or a mirror? It's a window. There's so many peeks through that window. <laughs> and again, they go back to their game. But this is when things get truly bizarre. Go to is always the F. Say, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just scared something's gonna pop out in the window. of the game board behind them as Xiao Long goes to check out the noise at the window. What are you hearing? Yeah. Oh, the guys are losing it. <laughs> While the ghost hunters are away from the board, the spoon can be seen spinning wildly, as if being pushed by some unseen force. But wait, we haven't even gotten to the most chilling event that the ghost hunters experience in their investigation of this abandoned haunted house. So, for some reason, all of the mirrors in this abandoned house seem to be covered, removed, are turned to face down. Then don't The explorers decide to take that. a good long look into one of the downturned mirrors. What's the and like? it didn't go well. The unexplained creepy face of an old woman appears in the mirror. That's so clear. Them. In abject horror, they pan the room, but there's no one there. Description. Me. Okay, what do you think about that? 
<laughs> um, they brought along a third person. You think that was fake? Oh yeah. I was gonna say that I think that it would be it would be really real if all that happened was the spoon, just because you wouldn't go through all that trouble to fake something so barely noticeable unless somebody was like really watching your video to notice that through the reflection. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then the fact that they saw somebody, yeah, I don't know. That's hard to say. But you don't. You never know. It could be real. It could be. They could be. sounded really, really angry and annoyed, yeah, they, they, annoyed they sounded, and terrified. So they 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 sounded genuine, angry, and yeah. scared. Um, interesting. Okay, let's see. Meanwhile, on Reddit, Reddit user Charger three nine three three was touring the abandoned Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Westland, Michigan. He says he thought he heard footsteps on the stairs, so he started recording. <laughs> So this one's a bit different, but I have to say, did you hear it? Charger 3933 catches what sounds like the soft voice of a woman singing and some odd unexplained screams from somewhere screaming. in the hospital. I heard some screams. Now, the Fun. voice is very low and there's a lot of background noise, I mean, it, it but I'll try my best to enhance the audio. Yeah. So I want to hear it again. <laughs> says he couldn't hear the singing with his own ears. He only heard it when he played his footage back. 100% I did video and my stomach is like It sounds like an old screen. Serpent 95 says his girlfriend was walking home alone late one night when yeah. she noticed a friendly stray dog following Wait. her for several. That, something like that is like really hard to uh, believe without being there. Like I'm not saying this didn't happen, but how is the viewer to know that there, there weren't like people goofing around outside? It sounded like it was coming from another part of the building or it really sounded like it was coming from outside and the windows were broken. You can just hear the, the sound. Also, I did hear the singing like the, the first time we listened to it, but he was with a girl um, and I thought she was just kind of like mumbling or, or making mm -hmm. noises like, oh, mm, mm, which can sound like words when you play it back. Um, so I don't know about that one. User Serpent95 says his girlfriend was walking home alone late one night when she noticed a friendly stray dog following her for several blocks. She thought it was cute, so she decided to send him a quick video. Did you see it? See what? Later, when she reviewed the recording, she noticed this. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently someone or something else might have been following her home too. Now this certainly could just be someone on the street, but if so, he's wearing like why a... are they dressed like this? Yeah, like a to full cloak. And did you Posted just by walk Reddit user there? a major yeah. malfunction. This video oh, allegedly didn't like that. shows a shadow the figure captured in the very yeah. haunted St. Augustine right. Lighthouse. Normally a dog would react. Normally a dog would react. Even to a ghost. Yeah. Just, yeah, the dog would react or turn its head or do something. It just walked by. Oh, I don't like that. What did that say at the bottom? I don't know, I just saw the shot. Now, at first it looks just like a normally cast shadow, but then it passes through an open doorway. So there's not much backstory supplied here. So. Real shadow apparition or just CGI? That is CGI. A picture paints a thousand words. Oh, I don't like looking at In a 100 year old house in the San Rafael Hills of Los Angeles, the current residents claim that their home is extremely haunted. John Metkowski and John Huckard say that since they moved into their house nearly 30 years ago, strange things have been happening. 
It all started with a bathroom door that unexplainably just kept opening on its own. On a whim, they started <laughs> taking Polaroid instant pictures down the bathroom the hallway whenever the door would open. So I, I shut the door again. Yeah, but did and you just hear that? When yeah. it started, they take a Polaroid picture every time the door would start to open. <laughs> <laughs> opening again. That's when I snapped it, and that's the picture with the scary face on it. What? Scary ghost. After several more strange incidents, including seeing what they described <laughs> so as many questions. shadow people, they decided to invite several people over for their own informal seance. They attempted to talk to what they now believe to be a supernatural presence. They asked, This is weird. Are you here? And then took this picture. Oh god. Bizarrely enough, a strange mist appeared in the photo. And even stranger, it seemed to answer their question. What? Are you here? They what? Asked. It says yes! The mist that appeared in their picture seemed to spell yeah, out... Yeah, you can mess with yes. Polaroid pictures. That just changed everything. Yes, and I, yes, and I do that. Pattern. I do that a lot. I don't know how they do the yes, though, but I'm not a professional. But I'm... I, this is weird! This is so creepy weird. Like, I love Polaroid photos. Look at these guys. They're up to no good. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff like that, it's another to get, like, communication. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> and they continue they just, they just more pushed more it. strange messages over the next 20 years. I mean, that's a clear In font. In this video from 1992, <laughs> hang on, John Hucker demonstrated. Hang on. That was a very clear font. Like, it yeah. wasn't, like, yeah, yeah. a hand. I mean, you never know. Uh. We load it in. You never know. He loads his film. Okay, uh, right? Did you die in this house? Ask the question. I think I've seen this and actually. The response comes back. Oddly enough, in Latin. It looks like it says Corpus Delecti. Sounds like we need to get out the Latin dictionary. Corpus Delecti. Corpus Delecti, which translates to evidence of a crime, such as the body of a victim. Now, at first glance, this whole thing seems very easy to fake, right? Yes. They could have messed with the film as it developed, or maybe just put something in front of the lens. But here's where things get truly bizarre. Things get truly bizarre. Paranormal investigators, scientists, and even representatives from film companies have come to the house with their own film and their own cameras to try to debunk the claims of paranormal pictures. I think I remember this All case. All of them caught similar eerie photos. The two Johns believe that the spirit that inhabits the house might be the victim of a crime. Maybe even someone buried under the house itself. <laughs> what, you get At this gathering, <laughs> visitors were invited to use their own film and cameras. They all asked the same question. I want to see their photos. Are you buried in this house? Two separate unrelated participants got these two photos. Dig here. But it gets even stranger. Remember when I said that John Hucker claims that he's seen terrifying shadow people around their home? Something that I've seen a lot and a few other people have seen are these shadow people, I guess is what you call them, because they're like shadows, but they're in the middle of the room. At the end of this night, everyone present took a group photo. And this is what developed. Uh. Amongst a group is another figure... But it's not a person, it's the shadow of a person, but there was nobody there. This dark figure appears right next to the house's owner. That is John head Hooker. is humongous, the and that is present terrifying. That night just couldn't explain it. I'm like, come on, how, how can people be falling for this? This is a simple parlor trick. It's got to be explainable. And you know what? I don't have an explanation for this. I didn't freak out. I think I just finally didn't have something to say or some way to... <laughs> to uh, discount it. So, do these two men actually live in a very haunted house? Uh, or is it all just no, a it's, very it's hoax. elaborate hoax? Elaborate one hoax. involving multiple witnesses. How could you, Either way, how could you do it? Two Johns certainly seem convinced. Magician everywhere. I'm not scared. <laughs> I'm just going to die. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> you don't think... Okay. Okay. I think... In my heart, I want so badly for for it to be real because the part that intrigues me the most is that when they got a photo of it or whatever, it was so stereotypical, like, 
over the top, obviously it goes. So I feel like if it was real, like there'd be, could you imagine being a ghost and someone's like, prove to me, prove that you're here, prove that you're a ghost. So you're like, okay, ghost face. Yes. Right? Yes. That would be so cool. I mean, not to be dead, but you know what I'm saying. But you're like totally hoax. This is yeah. Like, I, I I get. I I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm not gonna s s discredit them and be like, oh, it's fake. It's fake. You know, you do you. <laughs> okay. Blind It's hilarious. It's like driving a freeway. It's terrifying, but you know, just keep going. Sight. Oh, that one picture. You stop by viewers of the ghost. Like, the there was a picture of the classic the ghost. ghost. No, come, come on. on. The local it just, I told you why. Yeah, yeah. I, I want so bad. Like, it's just so eerie. And I think, like they said that that photo, that's like from like 1992. And I think I've seen this, I think I've seen that before as a kid on TV. And it's just so intriguing. It just reminds me so much of being like a kid and being like, oh, are there ghosts? I like, you know? Mm -hmm. I love it. Mall, decorating the interior for an event the next day. The mall is said to be haunted. So, Zeus says he took every opportunity to film the dark empty halls, wondering if he might possibly catch some supernatural activity on camera. Well, he did. Don't know. <laughs> Immediately after he starts recording, Zeus captures some strange, unexplained noise that almost sounds like an inhuman hiss. Yeah, I heard Zeus that. said that he only heard the bizarre sound when watching his video back later. Don't mm -hmm. Now, that was pretty much it. At least that's what Zeus said when he sent me this clip. But as I watched the rest of this video, I noticed something else. Oh, so new Zeus noticed had caught something. something on camera. That was even creepier. That he didn't even know about. As the video continues, one of the guys claims he hears a door slamming somewhere in the mall. Don't know. Seemed to be lightheartedly trying to put a scare into their female friend. But as they approach the end of the hall, and just before Zeus stops filming, he captures this. Oh. Yeah, what, what is it? Oh, yeah, there's a person in front of them. Did you see it? Right Some shadowy figure seems to be watching them from afar. So I emailed Zeus back and asked if there was oh, yeah. anyone else in the building with them that night. Zeus was shocked. He said he hadn't even noticed the figure until I pointed it out. And no, there wasn't supposed to be anyone else in the building. Hmm. Zeus says he has no idea who or what this figure might be. Privacy, That's please. Yep. Yeah. Nuke's top five viewer, Reese Hogan, says that he and a co-worker were changing the light bulbs in the restroom at his workplace when suddenly one of the toilets started flushing all on its own. He pulled out his phone and recorded something very strange. Oh my... I don't... Where was he? Where? I don't know. He's in a public bathroom. I don't like public washrooms at all. Not even joking. Look. Oh, and that freak you out? No. Look, that's 
it depends where they are. Look at it. It depends where they are. Because there could totally be a pipe chase behind that wall. Maybe moving the handle for a cross. Depending on what kind of building that is, there could be plumbing and stuff behind that wall. So there's a pipe chase where a maintenance guy can go behind the wall and fix things. So somebody could uh, be moving that from the other side. Yeah, but don't you think that guy, if someone was on the other side, they'd hear him freaking out and be like, I'm just fixing Or maybe this. it's his buddy playing a trick on him. Where is he? Like, where is this? I don't know. Nuke's top five viewer, Reese Hogan, says that he and a co-worker were changing the light bulbs in the restroom at his workplace. Yeah. yeah. When suddenly... So you think somebody's just behind there? So there's a chance, yeah, that somebody could be behind the wall at his workplace playing a joke on him. Or like, just I, fixing it. I see how you're like, oh my god, but I yeah. just I just look for the logic and everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Okay. But, okay, true, it's his workplace, so that's less scary. If you were just in a random public washroom, that would be freaky, That'd right? That would be really freaky. Yeah, okay, it's not as bad. He as says that at first he thought someone was just playing a joke on him. Maybe moving the handle from a crawl space behind the wall. There ah! you go! But there is no crawl space, so there's no way someone can move the handle from behind this wall. Because Nuke went there and checked but, it out. But you know what? what? You think? That doesn't make sense. Of course there is. How would they ever... All the piping is behind the wall. There has to be a crawl space. No, but there doesn't have to be. How would you fix that if that broke? You gotta open up the wall. That's stupid. Which is why there's a pipe chase. But you just said there wasn't. Did Nuke go there? Not Nuke, the guy! He was lying! Oh. Show us a video. Video or it didn't happen. Video of that walking out. <laughs> Those didn't yeah, you would believe it. Privacy or just a very strange plumbing problem. You decide. Ugh, it is crazy. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might be seeing more of him in upcoming videos as we like try to give you guys good content while we are on in self-isolation. What Unless did you, you think? don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you watch another one of these with me? Oh yeah. Do you find it interesting or are you just Do you like, find me interesting? I'm just sitting here. People love these videos and that's all I do is just sit here. Um, I'll, I'll sit here and watch some videos with you. We, we have nothing else to do. I know. <laughs> we really, really don't. But do you, is it like, being a skeptic, is it like watching a fictional show? Yeah. Or was there anything that you found believable? No. None of it was convincing. None of it was convincing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The, don't apologize. <laughs> I will make a believer out of him. Actually, he was way more of a skeptic before you started living with me and That's seeing right. all my yeah. freaky stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like paranormal content or if you like watching us react. And uh, please make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching this. If you were freaked out a little bit if you like watching these with us so that you feel like you're not watching them alone we get it and um always remember to live your life with do you know it i was gonna say love laughter and happily ever after no, no it's no, no. that no no love, peace peace and love nope <laughs> love with love and, and light light mm, we'll see you next time bye guys bye, guys.